my dear viewers welcome to this coffee cup reading this coffee cup is for all libra and it's for may onwards 2024 i hope you enjoy this reading my dear viewers my dear libra it is all about everything important that you need to know why certain things are happening and what is happening in your life and everything important your coffee cup is spectacular it looks incredible there's always so much so much going on mm. yes absolutely so much and um i'd like to welcome each and every one of you my dear viewers i hope you'll enjoy this reading those of you who are new to the channel i want you to be aware that prior to the coffee cup i do meditate and get in connection to all the guiding angels the universe heavens um and i'm given information that i write down on a piece of paper and I deliver that to you right at the end of this reading. So stay tuned for that. Now, let us begin. Starting with the first thing I see here, which is... Hmm, right. There's a guitar and there's some tunes. Very interesting. And there's a lot of people... Or a few people anyway. It looks to me like maybe you're noticing suddenly there are a lot of changes. Or the people even around you, they could be changing their attitude, changing their way, changing the way they their, uh, the way they talk, their tune. That's what I'm trying to say here. And, you know, even though you are very flexible... You are quite flexible, and even if you're not, you, you can become flexible. But it's like as though it's very bizarre. It's as though you want to remain who you are, and you don't want to change, even though the circumstances are forcing you to sort of change or become a little bit more aggressive. But you're finding it hard to change who you are. And you know what? You might be blaming that you're not able to be more flexible, but you find it difficult to, to play other people's tune because you are who you are. And you're happy with the way you are. It's very hard for you to change. Maybe you will consider changing because it's showing here that uh, a lot of change is, is happening for you. And and this all of this change is happening. By the way, this year, 2024, I see dragons all over the place. This is the year of the dragon. And it shows to me that the universe is trying to make changes to get you to adapt or to get you to be more flexible, to be able to adapt to a new life. You need to really, really look deep at what is happening around you, um, the people around you, the people that you deal with. Really get in touch with your emotions. Observe yourself and those around you to see like on a deeper level, what is happening. There's a cellular change, like from a very deep perspective in your life. It's changing. It's like it's almost taking you out of this way of life into a new way, a new way of life, which is going to be wonderful, actually, even though you might not think so now because you don't want change. You're comfortable where you are. You don't want, you don't want to move away from where you are. You're so happy, so happy where you are. But... There's some turbulence in your life. This turbulence is just, you want peace and tranquility, but you're not getting that. You're getting a lot of changes, upheaval, people changing around you, things happening. And all this experience is giving you a little bit of a, a heartache, or probably sleepless nights or even inflammation to some degree. You don't want this you want to heal from what's happening. You want healing. There's things that are falling apart and you don't like it. You don't like to be out of control or things not in your control. And that is really affecting you. I feel like you are going to heal from this. This is all happening at the end of the day for your benefit. Even though it's so possible for you to see now, but you're leaving a life that was so stagnant, so boring, and you were stuck there and you were used to it. A certain way of life, it's changing changing 
someone has been trying to control you, you have to be very careful from this person that tries to control you, tries to get things out of you. You've got to be very careful. It's an unhealthy, you're caught in a very unhealthy situation. This is coming to a very uh, this is coming to an ending and healing when you are actually finally transferred to a better life. There is money conflicts, there are some issues, there's cutting corners, there's um uh, th there's a situation where maybe you need to watch your money so that you know uh, maybe you're saving for something or you're trying to get somewhere or trying to get to this life here it's going to take a little bit of extra money which you might be having trouble um, maybe even your hours at work are getting less there could be uh, leaving a job looking for a better job there's all all kinds of things money is becoming uh, more harder uh, to or some sort of sort of money conflict is going on here at this point in time. But you are going to get out of it. It's just going to take some time. Some of you could be really um, trying to organize everything that is in your power to do something else, or to have a second job, or even to have your own business you might be thinking of, or even um, you might be thinking of having your own business or starting something new, self-employment, yeah. Some of you might be even thinking from working, working from home, that kind of like thinking, you know, to make money working from home. There are small increases, which is really good, small increases of money. But I think this comes from some really interesting and very valuable information that comes to you that's going to make you really look deep and have a look at, you know, do a very honest assessment of your money, where you're at and what's happening and what can you do. Some of you are thinking of a fresh start somewhere else. Steady work, you know, building a career somewhere else or starting something fresh. I also feel like more balance is needed. You need more balance uh, to face up to this challenge. There is a challenge in your life now. Something really is changing, but you are rising like the phoenix, which is wonderful. After you overcome all this situation, this challenge, and finally decide where you're heading it's amazing the the head of the dragon right here in this uh new path the dragon this year i keep saying the dragon okay so this is a dragon by the way just so you can see that the head of the dragon there um the year 2024 which is the year of the dragons for those of you who don't know is going to do a lot of it's going to bring you some disappointments. It's going to take away from, take away from you some things or some situations or hours at work or lack of money or less money, conflict with money, a challenge, a major challenge. Um, you know, keeping tap on your resources and your reserve, touching them like you know money that you said that I wouldn't touch. You start you know um, taking them, using them for things that are conflicting in your life there are setbacks all this is happening believe it or not is to take you out of this comfort zone that you're in and take you to a new way of life which you don't want you probably can't even contemplate or maybe you've thought about it but you probably put it aside yes i'll do that next year or the year after or something but i feel like all this is happening all this situation and a lot of painful hurtful words a lot of truth comes out sabotaging here and there ruining things finding out that your you know arguments with a boss or a lover or something leading to separation leading to emotional upheaval leading to separation again leaving something that's going to push you to leave leave a situation where you were putting up and you were okay but you were trapped you were trapped you're feeling trapped even now as, as I do this reading. And my dear viewers, this is really affecting me too, too because it's a Libra. I'm a Libra. Libra with Sagittarius Leo, just for those of you who are interested. Um, overwhelmed with problems and trapped as though you can't move because due to commitments, due to sur being surrounded, overwhelmed with problems, trying to make enough money to do something and not being able to get to to the you know to your goal i do also feel like there's indecisiveness like you're indecisive about priorities and this could be causing problems 
um, not finding solutions when there are solutions, but they might need compromising. So there is so much that you're overwhelmed with and the answers all need clear thinking and you don't have time to have that clear thinking and to compromise because you are finding it hard because to compromise, that means leaving your comfort zone, leaving something you love. And, and that is what's making everything hard. So what it shows here is there's an end of a situation. Without a doubt, the situation is ending. And there could be someone going out of your life. Because I do see also uh, a transformation like a coffin, which shows someone leaving, someone moving, a, a situation where there's an empty chair also, an empty seat, uh, an empty presence of someone. It could be someone that you might be working for, they leave, or you might leave. I feel like destiny is intervening in a, in a very spiritual way to guide you out of a situation, even at the cost of trials and sorrow and emotional loss. It's so sad and painful to hear this. And, but a necessary one. It's a necessity for this to happen, to take you out of this section of life and put you into a new life. Even at the cost that they might use duty, the universe, duty, crisis, but fate has to take place. Destiny is intervening and moving you to a better place. And believe it or not, when you are moving to this new chapter, this new doorway, this new path, it, you are going to feel lighter happier, more um, like the challenge is over, there's peace, there's harmony, there's less work, less stress, believe it or not. And you know what? Ultimately, I'm seeing to get you there, you need to really listen to your higher self, get in touch with your higher self, and you'll see a higher power is guiding you, and it's not you, something different is happening in your life. Like It hasn't happened for years you are going to be guided as what steps to take. It's not your brain, your mind, your intellect that's going to do that. It's your heart. Your higher self is going to be telling you what to do. And sometimes it might be the strangest things and you will be amazed at the things you say or the action you take, the steps you take. But this is all to bring on a new change so that you can move forward. So it might be in regard to family in regard to work, in regard to a lover, a spouse. Things are changing big time. Now, as you move on, I'm seeing that all these emotions that you were having finally are going to give you the courage to move forward. There is news coming also, news. Some sort of information is coming. There could be someone supportive, very supportive, uh, standing by you. This person could be air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, possibly. Uh, there's an earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn also. You do have choices, but there's good news coming so that they help you move forward. You know what to do uh, or, or to get you that which you need to be able to move. There is a lot of support to get you out of this. So it's really wonderful. If you look at it on the positive side and not on the negative, the, all the turmoil that you have to go through in order to move away from a comfort zone, you'll have so many choices. And one of those choices is going to be one that's going to be spectacular. I feel like uh, a lot of structure. Bear with me, let me give us one moment. It is a bit cold, so I've just got a bit of a runny nose, that's all. So um, structure, as I was saying, discipline in your life. You need that. And again, you will go through that. But this time, you'll be seeing things very clearly and you'll have the time to think well. You'll have the energy. Um, you, you don't have that cloud of judgment anymore. You know, there was a situation where maybe you were not being realistic Something's going to make you realistic. You become realistic. You become clear thinking. You won't misinterpret the reality anymore. You know, wish for something that, you know, wish for something that's unrealistic. You are going to be really brought down to earth and, um, you know, 
shown in a way, sort of put in a position where you can see things very clearly and um, and you won't take any risks. Okay, risk. There is something about risk. There is a risk that may fail, so be very careful. You'll have many options, you know, um, open to you now, but you need to recognize what is the right one to take so that there won't be any failure. There won't be any risks that will fail. There is a situation here, uh, a very important situation that will take place, a very spiritual event or spiritual, um, what's the word? Not event, action, not action. I'm trying to think of the word. An unexplainable spiritual situation that might happen. And that is going to make you understand that this is happening because of something uh, spiritual. Like it's not your normal thing. You'll know that you're guided. You'll know that you are, uh, that you will be taken care of. That's the point, no matter what, what's happening here. In regard to your work, you need to pay attention big time. Your work needs your attention more than anything else. And there's something that that you will say yes to. There's going to be an offer. There's going to be some news or some information that's coming. And you are going to say yes to this. So that is really great. But before you do say yes, and um, you will end up saying yes. Wow, there's somebody giving their heart to you. Wow, that is so beautiful. Handing their heart towards you. someone is really going to be um, being honest with you, you know, being truthful. And someone that might have feelings for you and they might actually declare them. Um, in regard to what I was talking before, when something's offered and you say yes, whether it's this hard or something else, I feel like uh, advice is needed, professional advice. You need to get advice, especially if it is to do with work uh, or if it's to do with something that... Um, is given to you like a gift you need to whether it's a gift or starting a business of your own or whatever it is it needs professional advices need to be you need to seek advice very important because i'm seeing here cautiousness is needed i'm seeing also that tact is needed like you have to be so tactful in the way to put things in order, to accomplish exactly what you want. You have to be so careful with your expression, with the way you deal with situations, with the way you, you talk, the way you express yourself. But what, one thing is wonderful. Number one, I see a great victory for you. Number two, I've got to take this closer to my eyes. Oh, yes, I thought it was... Mm, there's a beautiful um, celebration. I see a balloon. But I also I see a great victory. And I'm seeing you. Your dreams is soon one of your dreams maybe not all of them but one or two of your dreams is soon to become a reality so you are manifesting miracles miracles are taking place in your life and i feel like you just trust your heart trust your higher self and keep going because as you move forward you will see the great worry that you were worried was over nothing it was all in vain you didn't need to worry because somebody, someone heavenly has got your back. And your dream is soon to become a reality. So prepare for that. That on its own shows that you have nothing to worry about. Some of you are thinking, see, that's, that's how it is. Like, I don't get a break to breathe. I've got to breathe and then move on to the next one. But as soon as I see something, I get afraid that I might lose it. So I straight away talk about it. So I was going to say, what a relief that this great worry I have to stop and think about that. The great worry is over nothing when you're manifesting your dream and your dream is bringing everything into place for you. So you don't have to worry if you're moving to a new place or doing something fresh or feeling sad because things are falling apart or worrying what could happen if this happens, all that. You have nothing to worry about. There's a great big whale in your life. And this whale brings you abundance and wishes come true and dreams. Somebody's standing there thinking about moving. Needing power, needing courage to move forward. You want to do something new, but you are wondering, is it the right thing to do? Should I do this? You're indecisive. 
you want to embark on something new, either moving to a new place, starting a new career. It could be, you know, it's it's a big decision. It is all to do with your success, and you are going to succeed ultimately. That's the great news. But in the process, there's something new happening, and this new situation, the energy all around it is about new projects, a new way of life, a new a new lease of life, a new location, a new situation, a new job. The main thing, what you, what I'm seeing here is honest, being honest, like honesty is so essential. Being honest with yourself and, and with your family or the person that you're, you know, your spouse or your family, being honest and speaking with love, speaking the truth with love. That is, and being honest with yourself at the same time to be able to establish what is coming. The reason I say that is because I see I see you transcending to higher levels. I'm seeing number 11 here, which is connected to November, connected to the Chinese year of the dog. And it's also showing to you that there's going to be a lot of changes in relationships. Relationship changes are there. So the changes are going to be spectacular from now, May, all the way to Ju uh, to November. November major transformations I'm seeing you take time out holiday vacation time out healing removing yourself from someone separating even uh, for some uh, just taking time away from everything just to think what to do next even to the point where it might be happening between you and your partner there may be separation it's temporary there is reconciliation afterwards which is really good reconciliation and i'm seeing plenty coming a lot of healing and amounts of money start coming in i think when the money went low with work maybe or situation it caused problems but things are getting better i see money becoming more available and now you've got to use a lot of wisdom and not to overspend wisdom is needed to be used if you have been overspending i see great enthusiasm now you're getting more happier as the time goes by it's amazing coffee cup is only for one month but it shows glimpses of the future like it's talking about november and end of the year like when it's which that's why i say may onwards because the universe talks in mysterious ways and i can't uh, change that just to be to be true to what I actually said. This is a May coffee. They want to show us glimpses in the future. So I have no choice but to um, deliver those. Okay, so a new goal. You've got a new goal. You need to treasure those you love and really, you know, see what's important to other people. And, you know, you need to really be deep about how to deal with those around you, those people that you really love, your family, your children. I just feel like you need to really care about others deeply. Maybe sometimes you get so consumed in work and in life and it overwhelms you that you don't, you're not able to give that deep love that you have within you for them. It's not shown maybe. So it just shows a new beginning where you need to pay attention to this particular point, giving treasuring those that you love and giving them deep love, showing their love, talking about it. Wow. I see a new beginning that brings you, um, brings you a great start, a great start in your life overall, family. There's a lot of uh, wonderful family life, wonderful connection, love, happiness, but family life more, maybe even a new job, something new is igniting, giving you power, strength. You're navigating, following your bliss and doing well, navigating by your heart, by your heart's guidance. I see a lot of courage. You're taking action with passion and you have the strength to do so. Uh, things are uh, giving you the power to do so. Always stay optimistic about your love life. It's so important. Positive thinking is going to make things work for you. Have faith in romance. Don't give up. There's someone of earth energy that's going to be very, very, very loving, very supportive, very helpful. Someone down to earth, 
Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, someone very stable, very dependable. You know, that, that someone that really loves you, really wants you. And um, they really think before they speak. And I feel like there's going to be an amazing connection, friendship between you and this person. And a lot of harmony. A lot of harmony with this new person. This person is connected to... I feel like this could be happening around June. I see June here. Number six, which is June. I'm seeing um, two um, beautiful doves. Looks like a soulmate situation. Could be a twin flame situation. But it, it looks to me like... It's as though you found the one, the one that you can connect with on a very deep soul connection between you and this person. So things are going to be moving exceptionally well for you. A lot of um, feeling. I feel like it's your soulmate, really, because there's that soulmate again, the connection. It's like from past lives. It's like true love. I'm seeing true love with this person. Something about this person and music. You're connected with music. There's a guitar here, guitar. So this is a once in a lifetime. Love life. Once in a lifetime that you love this way. It's a really amazing love. Uh, believe it or not, I'm seeing fire energy very strong here. And Sagittarius is the leading one. Sagittarius. One, two, three Sagittarius. Wow. Wow. I'm also seeing Aries, but um, Sagittarius has taken over now. There's yeah, a few Aries too. So there could be Sagittarius or Aries. I'm also seeing two lions. So a lot of Sagittarius, a lot of um, Aries and two lions, uh, Leo. So fire energy within them. And there's the earth energy I was talking about. And guess what I'm seeing the most here? Wow. Capricorn. One, two, three, four Capricorn. Wow. Too much Capricorn. And that means, I don't mean too much Capricorn. I mean a lot of Capricorn. Virgo, there's two Virgo and there is Taurus. Taurus with Libra. Mm. United in one person. Taurus, Libra. They're very sensual, very romantic when Taurus unites with Libra. But there was four Capricorn and two Virgo and two Taurus with Libra. There's also water energy. Some of you could be dealing with water or leaving water energy behind. And I'm seeing a very strong... No, you're not leaving it behind maybe... Uh, where there were things collapsing. I feel like because there's very strong water energy, double water here, and it could be dealing with someone that is very strong Pisces, a lot of Pisces. There's two Cancer, two Scorpio, but a lot of Pisces, you know, heaps of Pisces in them. So um, I also see air energy, and air energy, it's like all over the place, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. My dear Libra, so you will be always dealing with someone that might have a little bit of air in them. Either like yourself, Libra, or Gemini, or Aquarius. Chinese year of the dog here, very strong. Is that the dog? Let me just go deeper. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Hmm. Chinese year of the dog, and also the monkey. Chinese year of the monkey. And the dog and the monkey, they go perfectly well together. There's four of each, so that's a lot. Four dogs, four monkeys. There's three oxes, buffalo, Chinese year of the buffalo. Uh, the letter T here, very strong. The letter, what is this letter? I'm just trying to see deep into it one second. The letter J here, very strong. Chinese year of the ox, buffalo. I also see the letter Y for yellow. I'm also seeing Chinese year of the horse here, Chinese year of the rooster. Uh, the rooster here. I've got H for rooster. H. Chinese here of the snake here. And I see Y again for yellow. I see N. I see K. N for Norway. K for kilo. Chinese here of... It's amazing. I'm getting a lot of letters. Very bizarre. In the midst of these um, uh, Chinese ears. I'm, I'm seeing also Chinese here of the rabbit. Cat rabbit. And I'm also seeing... The dragon. The cat and rabbit are united. There could be someone cuspy. They are cat rabbit. Born in the Chinese year of the cat, maybe. They're born in the Chinese year of the dragon, but maybe a cuspy like January, February born, and they could make them um, dragon. Okay. So now that's the end of that. Let's see all the messages delivered to you, all the messages. Let me just 
get rid of my glasses now we don't need them and let's have a look at this it says a giant giant change a giant detour my oh my god my dear libra this is amazing a giant change and a detour which means that's what i was talking about the dragon is going out of its way out of its way to get you out of uh, the, the, what you are comfortable in your life now, going out of its way to take you somewhere else. Like you're heading towards this. You want to get to that. You're heading and then something happens and you have to take a detour somewhere else. So a giant change that brings a new concept, a new detour, a new, uh, a route, a new, a new path out of nowhere. It changes what you were aiming for. Something else happens. That's very big. That's major. You're not that happy with this change. You're not that happy at all, in fact. That's what it says. You're not happy. But it's happening for a good reason. And it's happening for your benefit. You're working too much. That's what your guardian angels are saying. You're working too much or maybe thinking too much or doing too much. Somebody is still here. They're saying, I'm still here. They're still here. Someone, maybe somebody that's passed on. They're still here. If you feel that, someone is still around, still there, still here for you, maybe. Gather information, they're saying. You need information. Support. Support is coming. Something wonderful is happening. Something incredible is happening. And something beautiful. Beautiful one. So beautiful one. It's going to be a beautiful one. Whether it's going to be a beautiful gift, beautiful someone, a beautiful occasion, beautiful event it was a beautiful one when we describe something say oh it was a beautiful one that's that's what i was given there is a deal and there is some sort of agreement being reached which is excellent there is someone greedy someone that's very greedy you've got to be very careful of someone greedy and why do i keep doing this when i'm looking at it? i'm reading this and doing this i'm sorry <laughs> i do realize Oh, before when I was into how the dragon takes you out of your comfort zone. I got caught up in doing this. Okay, so there is an agreement, but there is someone greedy. You've got to be very careful when you're negotiating any kind of terms because there could be someone that's a bit greedy when it comes to uh, maybe money. There is something to do with a whistle, a whistle, maybe somebody that whistles that gives you an idea who this person is or something about a whistle could be connected to your job. A whistle is about caution at the same time. You know, a whistle. And it's also about music. So that could be also that. I did see someone with a guitar. True. Something is really true. If you're wondering, is this true? Yes, there is something to do with true. Something being true. And Sag. Oh, my God, Sagittarius. Remember when I was doing, I saw four Sagittarians, I think. There was four Sagittarians. Yeah, Sag is being given here. Sagittarius. So someone new that's coming, maybe that loves music or you connect on music. Uh, they could be born uh, as Sagittarius. Now, let me give you the names that I'm seeing here. Wow. All the letters, initials that I was given. So I'm going to go through them. First, I was given U for umbrella. I was given Y for yellow. I saw Y here twice. And then Y and J, I saw them together. Y um, for yellow, Yellowstone. G for Georgia, for Greece. Twice F for France or... Um, fabric twice i was given j we saw j here j for jamaica or japan c for canada or charlie a for um a for antarctica alaska k for kiwi kangaroo q for quilt or quails r for rome or rustic <laughs> okay so I, I just it came sometimes things come out of nowhere and then i was given two numbers i was given number nine chinese year of the monkey you had the monkey there it is connected to um, September, people born in September, Virgo or Libra. Um, you had Virgo and you had Libra with um, uh, with Taurus and you had Libra on its own as an air energy. So Libra, which is yourself. There could be someone that might, that might be Sagittarius with Libra in them or with Taurus, Libra in them. That could be the person that's coming that you're connecting with on a high level. Um, nine could be also September itself might impact your life on a grand scale, September. Um, the nine could also be from the time you see this coffee cup up to September, one major challenge you will overcome. And then there's time for fun and happiness and entertainment. 
Then I've got number six connected to the Chinese year of the snake, connected to people born in June, which are Gemini and Cancer, um, connected to also love and healing, healing because of love, healing due to love, a lot of spirituality. And June, impacting your life on a grand scale, something big and healing from love, all that happens in June, a lot happens in June, a lot of healing. From the time you see this cup all the way up to June, a lot of healing, love, healing because of love, healing due to love, healing from love even, healing and a lot of love and a lot of spirituality. And that is the end of your reading. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. I wish you abundance of blessings, a lot of love and light. Please, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to see the videos all the way to the end in support of me and subscribe to the channel in support of me it doesn't cost you anything everything i do is absolutely free i just need your support in those matters well while you watch a video all the way to the end or subscribe both um help me big time i wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light namaste